And so while this was going on, got a letter from um, Dr. King at Southern Christian Leadership Conference that there would be a meeting of students um, at uh, Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina uh, to discuss the student sit-ins. That took place in April 1960. I attended that meeting as a representative of the South Carolina State students. And, uh, and we were there discussing the movement and with, with students from all over uh, the South. Um, during that meeting, uh, Dr. King felt we should all join SCLC. Um, I disagreed even because Dr. King felt if you join, if you use the practice nonviolence, uh, that you should accept nonviolence as a way of life in your life. I disagree with that because I said, yes, I use nonviolence and we use nonviolence, but it's, for me, it was strictly a tactic. And I, I didn't believe, and personally, I didn't believe it would work. It was a tactic that I think had a short, I felt had a short life and wouldn't work. My position was when uh, when Gandhi uh, tried nonviolence in South Africa, uh, he was beaten, jailed, and run out of the country. As I said, in, in the United States, uh, nonviolence won't work because when Gandhi used in India the tactic of having people lay down on railroad tracks to protest. I said, and it worked. I said, but if a group of black people lay down on railroad tracks here in, Miss in South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, Louisiana, any of these southern states, a train would run you over and back up to make certain you are dead. You cannot make a moral appeal in the midst of an amoral society. And I said that it was not immoral. We lived in a society that was amoral. And as such, nonviolence was not going to work. And uh, so said I couldn't and the people with me could not join Dr. King. And, uh, and thank you, but no thanks. And then said those, you know, people that who, who grieve, who think like I do, we'll have a meeting down the hall and talk about it. And that meeting we had down the hall became the first meeting. Of the, it was the genesis of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Uh, it, it was at that meeting at Shaw and Raleigh, uh, Shaw campus in April 1960, that we went down the hall and talked about forming a new group. And at first we were going to call that group the Student Coordinating Committee, and we were just going to exchange ideas between campuses. But there were some people in the group <clears throat> who were still, who still greatly believed in nonviolence and the viability of, of, of nonviolence and the practices of nonviolence. Um, and we felt they should be a part of the group. And most of those students were from uh, Nashville um, and had been taught by uh, Jim Lawson. And I knew Jim Lawson, he was an important person to me. And so we thought that was good, it was a good thing to include nonviolence in our title. And so 
we created this new group and called it the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. 